right, what I'm working on here today is this uh, lawnmower I picked up. Um, it was actually given to me because the uh, engine had broken the bolts and it was sitting here rotating around. You can see, if you look in here, it's actually rattled around to the point where it oblonged the holes in the um, mounting plate on the mower here. So I pulled the, uh, the motor out of the mower and uh, the engine blocks actually was broken. So I took, in, took it to a buddy of mine's shop and had him weld it. Here and what I'm going to do today and what I'm showing in the video is uh, if you've never done a helicoil before I'm going to put a helicoil actually I got to put four helicoils in the engine block because it stripped the threads out of the aluminum so that's what we're going to do is put some helicoils in the engine block okay the one thing about helicoils is they're available in every size uh, metric of standard and also um, the, the, the correct taper for whatever it is the number of threads and taper so you can pretty much every size from big to like the tiniest little stuff like say inside of an engine on a dirt bike a little tiny you know bolt or whatever when you get the helicoils it's usually a kit there's usually a bunch of little helicoils um a, a tap to put the threads and a tool to actually insert the coil so i'm going to go about showing you how to do it um when you open it the tap should have on it and it's real hard to see here because the, the light I don't know if you, you probably can or can't see it, but on the tap here, it'll usually tell you what size drill to use. Use drill, and it says right there what size. That drill has to be used with this, so that way you get the proper hole size hole, so you can get the proper threads for the coil to fit into. It's a beautiful day out here. And Working outside in the nice weather and you got birds flying all over the place making all kinds of noise. So um, I got a cheap little tool here just to measure the depth of the hole. Um, I don't know if you can see that from there. I just want to measure the depth of the hole because I'm going to drill down into this and I don't want to drill into the engine block and I'll just let oil pour right out of this. So I'm measuring the depth of the hole and then what I did is I put it on my drill here and Once I got the, the actual depth measured, I put it on the drill and I put tape to just give me a guide to stop. So next would be drilling the hole, drilling it. Get it started. So these, the bolts that went in here literally just beat around and rattled around until it just stripped the threads out. So, you know, now I'll take and get my tool here. I'm going to chase in the new threads. Uh, 
I like to do is you do like half in, a quarter back. This tool is longer one way than the other, so it's hitting on the I just switched up uh, to make it a little easier going in and out here while I'm chasing it to get it clean. I just fit a socket, a regular socket, onto the tap here so I can go in and out a little easier, a little faster. Okay. If you're falling into the bottom of the hole, you gotta get them out. It's easier than dumping the whole motor over each time. So I think I'm almost all the way to the bottom. All right, so here's a helicoil. Here's the insulation tool. And all you're gonna do is thread the helicoil. You thread the helicoil onto the insulation tool. The insulation tool has a little spot where it grabs it. So it's going to grab that. Now what it does is it it twists it twists this as you screw it in, and then once it gets to where you want, you back the tool out and this the it's imagine taking the spring and twisting it. It makes it smaller, and then once you let off, it expands, so it tightens itself out against the wall. So that's all we're going to do is we're going to run this thing in here. Real simple. And just back the tool out. The threads stay behind actually pretty far down in there get the bolt now we have new threads for the bolt to tighten into that's one set of heli thread heli coils down on this I have three more to do but on this one here being the uh, friend of mine welded this side of the block this whole piece of the engine block was broke out I have pictures of it um, it was completely missing so uh, we welded it up or he welded it up I have to uh, heli coil these three set it in place then mark where the hole is for this one, so that way, it, you know, it's in the right position. Then I got to drill and tap it and do the heel coil the same way. Okay, so now I set the motor back into the mower, and I put um, the three bolts in, and then when the three bolts are in, I used a uh, pointy screw and scribed where the actual hole has to be. So I'm going to drill this next. All right, well, what I'm doing here is uh, I drilled uh, one smaller drill bit in size. Instead of taking and drilling the largest bit the size that I'm going at, uh, I switched from a small one to bigger to, to this size. So instead of just being a big chunk, so I'm just stepping up the size. It makes it uh, a little easier to drill a solid piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. stepped it up. I actually used four different drill bits to get up to that size, to, to the size 1360 force, 1332 I think it was. So um, now it's time to tap for the helicopter. All right, so there we go. We got one, two, three. And my last helicoil in the solid uh, aluminum 
you can see it in there so we're ready to bolt this motor back in the mower and hopefully uh have a mower here shortly so there's the uh repair on the engine block a uh, better view of it and drilled with the helicoil in there so it's a nice strong um weld and everything you know so this total job you know not count my time um 40 bucks for the welding uh because not only did he weld this up these had worn flat like literally flat with the block and they should have a little raised part part so my buddy uh welded these up you know filled them with aluminum tig wire so it's up to the you know raised up off the deck I guess so this doesn't rub or whatever reason who knows why they manufactured did it but you know so I got 40 bucks in the welding and uh, you know whatever the helicoils cost like 10 15 bucks for the kit so like $45 plus my time to repair the engine block so I can get it back in the mower